Hey YouTube. Okay. So today I'm cooking short beef ribs in my crock pot or Instapot rather. So what I did was I seasoned it and well first I washed them of course in some vinegar. Washed it like three, four times. Trimmed off some of the little fat. It had a lot of fat on there. And seasoned it. You know, and now I'm sauteing it. So it could give a little bit of brown. And then, um, this is the beginning of the cooking stage. So, saute. Give a little, um, searing the meat by sauteing it in this Instapot. And then, once it's um, sauteed, it is seared, on the outside is brown, and then I'll go ahead and add the other ingredients. So, this is step one. So, the next step is, I have some cut up vegetables that I'm gonna saute, which is green peppers, garlic, onions, carrots, and onions, I didn't said that already. And then, this is the sauteed brown of the short ribs. So I'm gonna take them out, saute the vegetables, and then put these back in the pot. So these are nice and brown, sauteed. So you can see. And then, <clears throat> I'm gonna put a little bit of cornstarch to make the gravy. So this is the step. See, I got the vegetables <coughs> cut up in the crop, in the Instapot, sauteing the vegetables, and the meat that I just braised, not braised, but browned, as you can see. It's the meat. I put a little searing to it, the brown. And then I'm going to put this back into the Instapot. Saute the vegetables just a little bit. And then I will put some beef broth in it. Gluten free, fat free beef beef broth. So saute it some. Now y'all probably wondering where have I been lately? I've been so busy at work and so this is smelling so good y'all mm. i can smell the the y'all can just taste it taste the aroma so saute that mm -hmm -hmm. and let me know if y'all want me to do more cooking videos because um, I used to do a lot of cooking videos, especially, see I'm putting the meat back in there, putting it back into the pot, this is going to be so good y'all, this time I will plate, I will plate it when it's finished, so, so now I put it, the meat back into the crock pot. I keep saying crock pot, but this also could be cooked in a crock pot too. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pressure cook it, but I will put it in um I will put it in um, slow cook mode and let it cook for about three four hours. You can see some of the steam coming from the pot itself. Mm -mm, this smells so good, y'all. I know that Dan Charlie probably smelled it himself, too. So, that's a lot of steam. Alright, so, let me go ahead and make part three. And part three, all I'm going to do is put some 
a um, little bit of cornstarch to make it the gravy and put that beef broth and then put the top on and let it cook okay y'all so i'm putting some this beef broth in it now i've been watching a lot of youtube videos and you see some people put wine red wine but if you don't have to cook it with wine or anything so um this is this is going to give us this flavor Okay, and yeah, put the whole thing in there and then let this cook down i will put a little bit of um a little teaspoon of the cornstarch in it make it a swirl as it starts to cook and then it'll make its gravy don't put too much cornstarch you just want to put just a little bit and put it some in um cold water swirl it around and put some in that broth I may add a little bit of water to it, but I'm not going to cook this on pressure. So, you put the top on, as you can see, and y'all will see the final results in the next video. Hey, y'all. So, this is the finished product. Short spare ribs with, oops, short spare ribs with asparagus over rice. Bon appétit